Hello everyone, myself Rameshwari Holkar, I am Center Head at Excel Civils Academy in Hyderabad. In the previous session, we have completed three important right bank tributary of the Brahmaputra and those are Manas, Taming as well as Subansari. In today's session, we are going to cover the left or four important major right bank tributary of the Brahmaputra. So, as we know that, as we have studied, there are around seven major right bank tributary of the Brahmaputra. The first, we can consider it is a Tista, then there is a Jaldhaka, then there is a Raitak river, then there is a Sankosh, Manas, Kaming and the Subansari. These are the seven major right bank tributary of the river Brahmaputra. Among these seven tributaries, four of them are transboundary river and three of them originate in India itself. So, Tista, remember that Tista, Jaldhaka and Kaming, these three rivers originate in India itself and left or four right bank tributaries originate out of this country and literally beyond this greater Himalayan range in the Tibetan plateau. So also revise which are the rivers that originate in the Tibetan plateau as we have covered previously the Ganga as well as Indus river system and this will be the third river system. Among all of these tributaries, distributaries of these major river basins, which of them originate in the Tibetan plateau? This can be most likely questions that UPSC can ask in the coming examination. So in this session, we will see the rest of the rivers. Just for the revision, revision purpose, we will be understanding this is a Tista river, Jaldhaka river, Raitak river, Sankosh river. And in the previous session, we have covered about the Manas, Kaming and Subansari. Now remember, this four river has their or, or their basin of these rivers are very much influencing or lies in the region of Sikkim as well as West Bengal, especially in the region of Darjeeling. But if you consider about this Kaming and Manas and Subansari, their basin lies in this two state of Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. So remember which are the states this uh, rivers supply the water and irrigation facility and also at the same time these are basically lifeline of the northeastern state of India. So now the first river that we are going to study is the river Sankosh. Now this Sankosh river as I said it is a transboundary river because only three rivers are originating in India that is Tista, Jaldhaka and Kaming. This Sankosh river originate out of the India basically in the region of Bhutan and then it enters in India. You can see this map through this map you can understand Sankosh river flow. And also remember this river's confluence with Brahmaputra in the region of Bangladesh. First three river Manas, Kaming and Subansari confluence with Brahmaputra in the region of Arunachal Pradesh in India itself, Assam uh, and uh, in India itself. But if you think about these four rivers, they confluence with Brahmaputra in the region of Bangladesh. So now about the Sankosh river, it rises in the Bhutan and it carries lot of silts and it create a braided channel. Also remember this creates a border between two states that is West Bengal and Assam and it also create international boundary between two countries that is India and Bangladesh. So ideally the Sankosh river creates a natural boundary between two states at the same time two countries as well. So this is more than sufficient information. Also remember the Buxa Tiger Reserve get water supply through the Sankosh river. I show you through the map also you will be able to understand. First of all, let's understand about the Raidak River because Buxa Tiger Reserve also get water supply through the Raidak River as well. So this Raidak is also very, very important river because it also has many protected areas. Those are there in the West Bengal situated on this bank of this river Raidak. Now, this Raidak river is a transboundary river originate in the Bhutan, then flows in India and then finally it get merged with the uh, Brahmaputra in the Bangladesh. It has the highest high potential of hydroelectricity generation. Also remember that there is a Chukha Hydel project which India has constructed in the Bhutan with 100% assistance and India get quite a lot of electricity through this Raidak river from the Bhutan country. So it passes through Nevra Valley National Park as well as Goru Mara National Park. These are very very important national park. You can see this Nevra and Goru Mara before that. Please see this Raidak flow. It originate in the region of Bhutan, but it enters
rivers in India and it confluences ultimately with the Brahmaputra in the region of Bangladesh. So, this is a flow of Raidak river. Now, you can see this as I as I told there are important uh, ecosystems uh, on the bank of this Raidak river. One is a Buxa tiger reserve, another is a Gorumara national park. You can see this Gorumara national park and at the end there is a Nevra valley national park. All of them are present in the region of West Bengal on the bank of this Raidak river. So, it is very very important if you want to study about the national park biosphere reserve in the environment and biodiversity section. So, this is very beautiful picture skew uh, landscape of this Raidak river. It literally seems to be in somewhere in the Southeast Asia, but these pictures are from the Bhutan and created by this Raidak river as Raidak river is flowing through these monasteries. It's very beautiful view. Then we have another important river is a Jaldhaka river. Now, as I said, Jaldhaka river originate in India and it's very interesting fact is that it originate in India then flows through Bhutan and again re-enter into India. So, literally at the very upper course is flows between these two countries and at the end it flows through Bangladesh. But maximum basin of this Jaldhaka river lies in India itself. You can see this flow of Jaldhaka river. So, this is a Jaldhaka river. Also remember this river originate in the Jelepla Pass in the western part of Sikkim. So, which are the important uh, information is must to remember about the Jaldhaka river. It originate in the Jelepla Pass in the region of Sikkim and it create a very beautiful fertile region along with the Tista river. This is very popular for this uh, agricultural produce like pomegranate, apple, plump, oranges. So, this create a very fertile agricultural zone along with the river Tista. And now we have the final river that is the river Tista. UPSC has previously asked question based on the river Tista as well. So, Tista river originate in India itself from the Sikkim. You can see the flow of this river Tista from this Jemo glacier. Now, this Jemo glacier is there nearby this Kanchanjunga mountain range. From this Kanchanjunga mountain range, there is a Jemu glacier from where this river Tista originate and it flows from the region of Darjeeling and once it create a basically lifeline of the Darjeeling. So, whenever as a for a tourist purpose or tourism purpose, whenever you visit the region of Darjeeling and you definitely must visit that place, you will find you are crossing this river Tista. So, from Tista and then again enters into Bangladesh and confluence with river Brahmaputra. So, this Tista is also very very important and Tista again create a very beautiful deep gorge because it cut through this greater Himalaya and it creates many rapids also. Because of that you can see there is even sports like water sports are also very famous especially uh, river rafting. And this is very beautiful picture skew view of this river Tista. Basically, the water of the Tista at the upper, uh, you know, basin, it looks like a white, whitish. Now, let's solve few questions that will be very important for you. I would like to see your answers in the comment box below. The first question, with reference to river Tista, consider the following statement. The source of river Tista is the same as that of the Brahmaputra, but it flows through Sikkim. Second question, river Rangi originate in Sikkim and its tributary of the river Tista. To get the answer of this question, you have to keenly observe or keenly go through these uh, slides again. Third uh, sentence, river Tista flows into the Bay of Bengal on the border of India and Bangladesh. Which of the statement given above is are correct? There are four options has given, please choose the correct option. The next question that we have, which of the following tributary of Brahmaputra is our, is our not a trans boundary river? Now, this is very interesting question. Kameng, Tista, Manas, Jaldhaka, select the correct answer using the code given below. Also very interesting question, you need to memorize this seven major right bank tributary. The next question, which among the following is the antecedent tributary of the river Brahmaputra? Four options has given Subansiri, Sankosh river, Raidak river, Tista river and also imagine what if I will add the river Manas as well, what will be the answer? Now the last two questions that we have which among the following rivers originate in the Tibetan plateau? Manas, Ghagar or Ghaggar, Tista and Jaldhaka river. Select the correct answer using the code given below. So, you should have a very proper understanding of the origin of the river and especially from the Tibetan plateau. Okay. Now, the last question that we have, a Brahmaputra originates from which of the glacier? Gangotri glacier, Angsi glacier, Bokharchu glacier and Rakshastal glacier. 
so to get the answer you will not get this answer from this slide particularly you have to go to the origin of the river brahmaputra uh, which is the the previous slide you will get to know last a uh, question that we have volume wise which river is the largest river of india the options are brahmaputra ganga kaveri and godavari few of the questions might be very interesting might be easy but during the time of examination you get confused so it's better to solve it today itself thank you so much stay tuned